Friends, this is my second video. If you have not seen my previous video, you can view my earlier video at this URL on YouTube. My previous video will help you to increase your memory retention by 8 times. Friends, topic of the second video is SAS 70 and SSAE 16 audit reports. This is a very important topic which is relevant to CCSP, CISSP, CISA, CISM and series certification exam. SAS 70 was an auditing standard that was developed by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants AICPA in 1992. Now SAS 70 standard has been replaced by SSAE 16 standard. SSAE 16 was also developed by AICPA. SSAE 16 was issued in April 2010 and became effective in June 2008. Here you can see evaluation path of audit reports. SA70 was replaced by SSAE16 in 2011. SOC1 report addresses internal control over financial reporting. SOC2 report addresses trust service principles which will be covered in the next slide. SOC3 report is simplified SOC2 report with unrestricted use which means it is available to public. SAS 70 focused specifically on risk related to internal control over financial reporting. It does not cover broader objectives such as system availability and security, which is the requirement of many companies. Here you can see difference between SAS 70 type 1 and type 2 reports. In type 2 report, information provided by service auditor is mandatory which includes detailed listing of control and testing of operating effectiveness. You must know the difference between SOC 1, SOC 2 and SOC 3 reports. SOC 1 report addresses internal control over financial reporting. SOC 2 report addresses internal controls for compliance or operations. SOC 3 report is a subset of SOC 2 report used for marketing purpose. Both SOC2 and SOC3 reports are based on trust service principles. We must also know who will use these reports. Both SOC1 and SOC2 reports are restricted reports while SOC3 is unrestricted report. SOC1 report is used by users and auditors while SOC2 report is used by users, auditors and specified parties. SOC3 report may be used by general public and potential customers. You must know the difference between type 1 and type 2 report. Type 1 report is point in time report. It means it accesses the effectiveness of controls on a particular date. Type 2 report accesses the effectiveness of controls for a period between 6 months and 1 year. Here you can see that type 1 and type 2 reports are applicable to SOC 1 and SOC 2 only. SOC 3 does not have any type 1 and type 2 report. In type 1 report, auditor check the design of control only. But in type 2 report, auditor check the design, operating effectiveness and auditor also report result of test performed. Both SOC 2 and SOC 3 reports are based on 5 trust service principles. You must remember the 5 trust service principles. Out of the 5, 3 you already know. You already know CIA tried, confidentiality, integrity and availability. Now we have to add two more, security and privacy. Out of the five trust principles, two principles are mandatory for any report. Out of these two, one is security principle. So you can choose security and any one of four other trust principles to form any audit report. A lot of people are confused between privacy and confidentiality. The main difference between privacy and confidentiality is that privacy protects personal information while the confidentiality protects non-personal information and data. Personal information includes any information that can be attributed to an identified individual. Now let us practice 8 sample questions. Please take a paper and write answers against each question. Please pause the video so that you can read the questions properly. Please note your answer on a paper. We shall discuss answers after attempting all 8 questions. Please read the question carefully. 
Please pause the video so that you can read the question properly. Please note your answer on a paper. Now let us look at the answers of these questions. Let us review question number one. In this question, main keyword is present and future customers, which means that report is unrestricted and publicly available. SOC 3 is applicable for this criteria, so correct answer is C. Now see question number 2. Interest principle security mandatory criteria. In options A, B and D, security principle is already there. But in option C, security principle is not present. Hence the correct answer is C. Now see question number 3. We know that trust principles are applicable to SOC 2 and SOC 3 only. So option A and B are ruled out. SOC 3 is unrestricted report. So option D is also ruled out. SOC 2 report is available to technical audience. Hence correct answer is C. Now see question number 4. This is a very easy question. SOC 2 report is based on trust principles. Options A, C and D are based on trust principles. So these options are ruled out. Only option left is now B, which is SOC 1 report that focus on financial controls. Now see question number 5. This is also a very easy question. Both SOC 1 and SOC 2 reports are restricted reports. So option A, B and C are ruled out. Since SOC 3 is not a restricted use report, so correct answer is D. Now see question number 6. Just remember, choose the right type slide in this video. Type 1 report is a point in time report, its focus is on the design of controls. Type 2 report is applicable for a period and its focus is on the design, operating effectiveness and results of test performed by auditor. So only option D satisfies the condition on type 2 report. Hence, correct answer is D. Now, see question number 7. In this question, keyword is business continuity planning controls are operating effectively. We know both SA70 and SOC1 report focus on financial controls. Hence, option A, B, C are incorrect. SOC2 report satisfies the arrow keyword. Hence, correct answer is D. Now, see question number 8. Since SOC 1 report focus on financial control only, option A and B are ruled out. Since type 2 report contain input from external auditor, has correct answer is D. Friends, this video tutorial is applicable to all certifications including CCSP, CISSP, CISA, CISM and CRISC. Please share this video to all such aspirants of these certifications. If you find this video useful, then please press like button. Please also write your valuable comments.